Well, hello. Welcome and Happy New Year to 2019. Can you believe it? Wow, what a year. <coughs> I still remember when I was a programmer when Y2K was coming and everybody was worried all the banks would fail. Yeah, when it was going to turn to 2000. And everybody thought, oh, there's going to be explosions and it, well, they thought the computer, a big panic. You guys remember that? A lot of, and we started on it maybe a year before fixing all the software to handle mm -hmm. two th the year 2000. And you were able to work it through. Made it figure out how to turn to the 2000. And uh, I was just going to run through a few things from the last year that I jotted down. Uh, we said goodbye to Roberta and hello to Paola. And we thought, oh, how could we like anything, anybody more than Roberta? But, but we, I don't know, we just love them all. And then Brad got half of it. My brother Brad got half his foot cut off from diabetes. Oh, and then uh, tore down the building in Pleasant Grove where Rochelle and Doug met. They tore that down. Um, we had to clean up all this sludgy smush from underneath the house. The house. Johnny and Davey went last under. Year? Yeah, this wow. happened. Uh, uncle, my uncle Sylvan died. Um, Chase had to go get his kidneys checked, and so far they're good. Uh, we had Jimmy Joe from Oregon, the actual lab visit twice in April and then in uh, November. And we did our jammies picture then. Um, let's see, can you think of anything else? I just wrote some stuff down quick. Uh, <clears throat> some my, of the things that happened. Bridge, oh yeah, my bridge broke. Papa O had new teeth put in, and then his old bridge broke, so he's getting that put in. And we ran a couple races. My skating accident five years ago. Mm -hmm. Then when Rochelle, or maybe it was ten years twelve ago. years ago, when Jimmy okay. Joe was on his mission, and Rochelle and her husband and some friends went to. Dominic Republic and how scary that was because they were having a big riot there. Hey, Mama, oh, do you remember the bag of puffed wheat? Yes, I do. And uh, I, it, it was, I don't, do they make those anymore, puffed wheat? Nobody believes Wonder it's why. puffed wheat. Oh. <laughs> it's not made of wheat. Wheat's heavy. Yeah. So uh, I do remember that. And then have you made a DIY on your granola? And yes, I have. I'll post that right here. And what all, what all can you put the bay leaf in to fight weevils? I put it in any kind of grain, uh, mostly wheat and right. oats. And I didn't know you had to put it in macaroni, but I do now. Apparently, it gets into macaroni. Anything with grains, and macaroni is made with grains. Well, uh, Papa O, he worked at Albertsons for 15, 20 years, something like that. I worked at a grocery store. Okay. And that's where... Uh, that's where the man or the guy is working for a smaller store. He told me to put the new stuff in back mm -hmm. and cereal items, and he he grabbed uh, a box of some kind of cereal and just ripped it open, and there were weevils in it. Mm. And it was on the front. It says that's why I want you to rotate and put the fresh stuff. And in that's the back. how I do my storage room. The juices up up at Walmart. The mm -hmm. fresh dates are always in the back. In the back, yeah. yeah. That's where I always grab too. I learned that from you. They always put the older in front so you'll buy it and then you get well, the... Well, they're already in front. They well, you wrote because you rotate it through, yeah. yeah. Um, and that was from Ancestral Bliss. Okay, now, Big Sucky. <laughs> I like that. How do you edit videos? And I use my Bobby. Uh, what do you use? Do you use my Bobby no, too? No, I use my Bobby. And... Uh, I used to you can, uh, I'm the one that taught her to use editors, because mm -hmm. I've been using them for 20 or 30 years. Let's say, even right on your phone, you can buy apps, like like the Movavi editor, it's a free, mm -hmm. you can get a free app, and, and when I take a quick uh, video with my camera, with my, with my, not my camera, my phone, iPhone, mm -hmm. I can edit it really quick just with a you small app. You can get the Bobby on your phone. Yes, yeah. and that way I can uh, put music to it. I can chop off where the beginning and end, yeah. so it's. Uh, I can put. Uh, I can put. Well, uh, yeah, and, trans, uh, and transitions. In. And uh, uh, editing just takes time. You just. Well, I remember the first video edit I edited took me eight hours. 
And then I didn't know to save it and I lost it and I had to do it again. And uh, it was just a nightmare. I almost gave up then. But you just learn, uh, you learn how to edit and it's you know, just a process. It's, it just uh, takes time. It's like saying, I want to learn Spanish. I, I want to be able to speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. You can't do it without putting some effort into yeah, it. Yeah, he, you just start, you just get a program and just trial and error. You, uh, the, the more you do it, the easier it gets. And then, But uh, if you buy a, an, a really good one that the professionals use, mm -hmm. you can be there on it, learning it for a couple of years. It just takes time. You just have to start doing it and and then just just uh, trial and error. Okay, Bonnie Barber, and good luck with that. Bonnie Barber, um, cute, ugly sweater, quote, ugly sweater. Um, I would say, is, is she wants to know, is it ugly or cute? And I go, well, they're cute, but they call them ugly sweaters. <laughs> she puts LOL. And she goes, what's the deal with the skull in the, in the book? Okay, now, uh, I was flashing through some pictures, photo books that my mom had, and I'm going to hold this picture up for you, and you tell me if you see a skull or something else. I okay, here's the photo. At first, you may see a skull, but then look at it, then you could see the woman. Let me get a little closer. There's all her perfumes, and this is her hair, and she's looking in the mirror. And then this is just a candle or something. And, and this is the mirror she's looking in, but it looks like a skull. But tell me how many of you see a skull and how many of you see a, uh, then see the woman. So it's not, it's not. It's just a fun picture my mom liked. It's bragging about the skull, it's bragging about an optical illusion. Yeah, optical illusion. So that's what she was, uh, my mom always loved that picture. She put it in our picture books. And I always see the skull first, and then I see the, the pretty woman. Okay. You know, actually, that could apply to life. You see the ugly first, and then you see the beauty yeah, around the that ugly. Yeah, that could, yeah. Like, you see the thorns, and you go, ooh. <laughs> Oh, but look at the rose. That's right. <laughs> okay, and David Clark McCall, what are you guys doing for New Year's Eve? And we went down to our daughter's friend's church house and just had fun there. There was um, probably lots of kids, 30 people there, lots of kids and stuff. And it was just a lot of fun. We played some, you'll see the video in about a week of what we did for New Year's Eve. And what you guys do? Comment below what you did. Um, okay, Greg. Oof. Bouchard. Oh. Bouchard, yeah. You should get iTunes. And I do have iTunes for the songs I wrote. I don't have it for my Christmas CD. And if you go to iTunes and look under Pollyanna Million to One, then you will find my songs. You cannot, you cannot put a song up for sale, a single song. You have to put an album up. So that's my album. It's called Million to One. And if you want my Christmas CD, then just email me your address and I will mail it mail it to you and then you can just send me a, a check or a PayPal me. And if you get iTunes, iTunes is a program, either an app on your computer or phone, uh, but it's also refers to, the app refers to selling, mm -hmm. uh, selling music in general and selling videos, but it's not something you just sit down and two seconds later you can do it. You can't mm -hmm. do a single song because we've we started that. But route. you can buy a single song, yeah, off the. You can album. buy a single song, but you can't put one up for sale. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it, it, Greg. So what oh. what music do you have on iTunes? Or like, <laughs> he's probably saying I sh that I should put my songs on there. Okay, how about Bryce Aggie, babe? Uh, what part of Texas? He's talking about my sister's moving to Texas. They've already bought a house, and uh, so they're they got to go. They're going there, and she says, "God bless for trying to keep the kids out of the system. Prayers their way." I love the family treasure. She's talking about the picture book. I mean, he and um, uh, yeah, my sister's moving to Texas because she's got to go try and put their family back together because uh, the kids are in foster care and she wants to get them back out. So hopefully she could do that. Okay, why don't you read that one? Aunt Jules. <laughs> What's oh. she saying? 
I'm so sorry to hear about your sister moving. So funny. Is there anything they can, any way they can get custody and bring the kids back to Utah? We are hoping, and originally the thought was to bring the kids to you. Originally they got the phone call, we're, bring, we're bringing the kids to you. And then they didn't hear anything. And apparently the law in Texas is both parents have to come too. Uh, whether they're married or divorced and um, and they they won't come because Teresa still has a, a daughter down there and uh, anyway they just didn't come want to come up here so Sherry and Steven says well we're gonna go down there then uh, so and hopefully we can get Sherry back here and they're hoping to put the family back together and they're they're out by Dallas Texas somewhere and see, can you and her daughter continue singing together? Yes, me and Therese, me and Donna are going to continue singing together. We'll, we'll do that and hopefully Sherry and Stephen will be back. And Sherry and Stephen are hoping to sing with their, with their daughter, Teresa, because Teresa's a really good singer. And so they might, they might uh, start that's, that up that's down really there. That's a really good idea. Yeah, it's a really good idea. And her other daughter, Mackenzie, that is, Oh, I think she's 19 or 20. She would love to sing with them too. So they'll pro they'll be singing down in Texas you with their other daughter. Of Sherry? Yeah, Sherry's granddaughter. And then um, me and Donna will sing up here. And Donna may bring some of her kids too because they're all really good singers. So we won't stop singing. I kind of thought we would, and I thought I'd just be singing by myself. But then Donna, she says, "I'll come sing with you, Rosanna." I says, "You will?" And I didn't think she would, and she says, "Yes, I will come sing with you." Okay, and then Hannah Rose Cardos, 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 she says, oh, this was at Rochelle's house when we were having the Christmas there. She wanted to know who made those blankets, and it was her aunt. Okay, why don't you read the next one? Okay, let's go. Her aunt makes blankets every year. He wants to know if we have thunderstorms here. Mm hmm I thought any place that's above freezing and has warm, warm weather and rain has thunderstorms. Yes, Yeah, he lives up in... Australia and they have summertime there right now and he yeah. had a big summer uh, thunderstorm and I remember one year uh, lightning hit right right by our house and it was so loud I don't know if any of you have experienced a, thun a lightning hitting right by you I've it had it hit right loud. when I'm walking by a telephone pole and, oh. it, and it hit the transformer and oh my goodness right while I was walking Whoa. It was the loudest noise I've ever How heard. How old were you little or big or no, what 16, were you doing? Was working oh sixteen? Yeah. Uh, that's scary. Yeah, Papa when he was sixteen he he used to drive a they used to deliver now they do it again, but he used to deliver the groceries to the people's homes in this truck and uh, Up in the mountains up in, in a, mountains in a copper mine. Up in Bingham. Yeah, and now they're starting to do that again for those that want to do that. But uh, uh, I that's what I haven't heard. Too much. I heard, it got popular for a while, but it's mm. more problems. Can you imagine if people saying, "Oh, they gave me the wrong brand. I mm. need to send this yeah. back." They're, oh, ice cream. You can't do well, ice Walmart cream. Walmart has you can't it. Can't do pop. Walmart has it, so you can uh, order online. You have to be able to order well, online. Yeah, you, you pick it up. And then you have to go pick it up. Yeah. And Harmons, I think, delivers to your house but you still have to order online. Like for our neighbor next door, she doesn't own the internet. She doesn't know anything about it, so she's not gonna do that. And that would be wonderful for her if they would deliver to her because she can't get out, but she doesn't know how to do it. So anyway, kind of got off the subject there. Uh, what, you read that one? Squanchy Bonchy. What like happened that. to Judy's leg? Uh, yeah, she wants to know what happened to Judy's leg and why they had to, why she had to get it operated on. Uh, she's just had trouble with it since she was 14 years old. She had a cyst on the back of it and had that cyst cut out. She's had it operated on twice. She had somebody back into her in a parking lot and hit the knee. Uh, she's fallen on it a few times. She's had it operated on twice. She's had cortisone shots. Um, she's tried the chiropractor's been he, trying. He's going to say, oh, sorry, I asked. <laughs> yeah. And... Um, but just a lot of trouble. The knee's just been swollen, and the doctor finally said, "You know, it's time to get it replaced." And she just couldn't believe it, and she didn't want to do it. And oh yeah. And I said, "Well, when the pain gets more than your fear, then you'll do it." And she did do it. But so she's slowly recovering from that. They have to be thousands of dollars, don't they? Uh huh. They've got yeah. good uh, insurance. Her husband just retired from post office. 
But, um, okay. And Hannah Rose Cardos, Cardos, she wants to know if I have an Instagram account. And yep, I do. It's under Roseanne Orgel. On Facebook, it's Roseanne Bueller Orgel. That I use my maiden name, but on Instagram, it's just Roseanne Orgel. And then she went to my bows page, my Pika bows. Um, these I make these uh, nylon headbands for baby for babies, bald babies. They work better on the bald babies for the but babies with hair. They don't work quite as well because the hair kind of uh, kind of slips off their hair. But well, we had like three bald grandbaby girls in a row, and so I thought we gotta do something because they think they're boys. <laughs> they always what a cute boy. But uh, so that we let that page expire, that web page, because. It costs like what a hundred a month or something. We so we just do it on Facebook. And if you, okay, now Hannah wants to know um, how's da how is Daisy doing? And she's doing a lot better. That remedy that Claudia homeopathic oh, okay. that's really worked really well. Oh, okay. And um, so she's I, I'd say the rash is ninety nine point nine percent gone. And then she wants to know about my two sisters. And I kind of talked about the, that earlier about Sherry. They bought a house in Texas. They're, they've come back to sell the house they have here. And they'll be heading back out again in about a month. And uh, they load up all their stuff and head back to Texas. And uh, then Judy, she's doing a lot better. She's about 85% better or 60% better. So now all she has to do is just heal. Well, if you're talking about all the people's... Artificial this and that. You better tell them about uh, Kathy. I don't think I've talked much about Kathy in my book. Uh, I did mention her once when we had the Bueller party. I mean, in my um, uh, videos, because we don't see her much. That's true. But uh, she had, oh, this, I, I show a video. She has a screw in her foot this long, and it started coming loose. So she had to get that operated on and have that taken out. Um, but she's having a real hard time she, walking. And then she was bicycling with her husband. Sherry was. She, oh, uh -huh. Sh Sherry, yeah. Yeah, that was Sherry, and she fell, and, oh, yeah, that happened, I think that was this year, or was it last year? Broke her ankle, uh, slipping on some ice, riding her bike, and that might have been two years ago. I think that was two years ago. Okay, well, that was fun talking about... Uh, the Ailment, year 2018 oh. and ailments and Joe's teeth. That was his Christmas present, by the way, was his teeth. That's a lot of money. Fork out for that. And um, all right, we'll close with a couple, a couple of quotes I to actually, start out the new year. Yeah, the beginning is always today. And let's forget the baggage of the past and make a new beginning. It's never too late to be what you might have been. You you talk, you got to know about short-term goals and long-term goals. Oh, I'm glad you mentioned that. Or take your long-term goal and make it into little short sections. Excellent. And that's Roseanne. what you, you were talking about that in our last video. Yeah. But um, break it down and be specific. Uh, if you have one large goal, you will never even, yeah. you, you'll you get as far as working an hour on it one day and never go back to it. So set, so take your big goal and chop it into mini pieces how you're going to lose the weight or what you're going to do to change things or um, be, be more specific with yourself and with your goals and write them down and uh, one thing that really helps is to tell other people about it because they'll keep asking you say well how's that going and they'll help motivate you so that you'll accomplish it like when I wrote my book um, Mama, Mama I'm Home I thought well this was when my kids were little I said if I just spend an hour a day just an hour a day I can get accomplished and I did it in a year and so you just set yourself these goals of what you want. Did you want to write your book? Uh-huh in a year. But I proofread it for yeah, you. Yeah and it took you it Papa took oh a, a year time. to proofread it. He read it through five times and it took a year to publish it. Uh, the beginning is the most important part of the work. Just start. Start somewhere. Start do something to start whatever it is you want to do exercise program go do something take a walk uh, uh, uh if you want to lose weight do something now today don't eat that cookie eat one bite eat one bite or uh, and then say i'll just eat a half a bite next 
next time or do something. Just uh, don't say someday I will start that. Just do something now, something small. Uh, if you want to uh, start, start something, just do it. Uh, we'll close one more. It says, no, this is not the beginning of a new chapter in my life. This is the beginning of a new book. The first book is already closed, 2018, ended, and tossed to the seas. Wow. This new book is newly opened, has just begun. Look, it is the first page, and it is a beautiful one. And it's mm. blank. You get to write it. All right. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And Happy New Year 2019. Let's see what to this year brings. One of my things is I'm going to try to do a smile more. Okay. That's it. Just after I get my teeth. Okay. In. Do it now. Okay. <laughs> Later. After I get my teeth. Thank you. And good night.